Welcome to this PPP2 How to Pull QuickBooks Reports for your PPP2 application. So as I'm sure most of you are aware, uh, the Paycheck Protection Program, PPP2, uh, opens up this coming week. And uh, so people are going to be, you know, submitting applications to the banks when the banks are starting to take applications. And a big, big part of this that was part of the stimulus bill is that you have to show that your uh, revenue went down by at least 25% either overall for the entire year of 2020 compared to 2019 or you can do it quarter by quarter so you would you would compare quarter 1 2020 to quarter 1 2019 quarter 2 2020 to quarter 2 2019 etc okay so i'm going to show you in this video how to pull a report in quickbooks that gives you this information uh, pretty easily so that you don't have to go through and calculate any information okay now quick caveat on this this is a sample company file all right, so in QuickBooks sample company files, they have data in here for 2022 and 2023. So the dates are gonna be different in this customer report we pull, but I will point that out so that you do the correct dates on your report. Okay, so here we are at the home screen, and what you're gonna do, uh, the easiest thing is you're gonna go to the reports drop-down menu, and you're gonna go to company and financial, and you're going to pull up a profit and loss standard okay okay so you get this profit and loss standard up here and now we have to customize this to show uh, quarter over quarter and the increase or decrease all right so once you have this up on the screen i want you to go up to customize report and it's going to bring up this box all right so the first thing you're going to do and this is where there's a difference we're going to type in 0101 23. Now, in your case, you're going to type in 010120 for 2020. Okay. The only reason I'm not doing that in this sample company file is because there is no data in this sample file for 2019 and 20. And so uh, it's, it's just going to look funny when I show you the end result. I want to show it with numbers in this. Okay. So this is going to be 1231, 23. And in your file, this is going to be 1231.20. Okay, so what we're doing is basically just saying this entire year. All right. You can also pull down the uh, drop down box and say last calendar year or last fiscal year. And that'll give you 11-2020 uh, through 1231-2020. Okay, now. And this is pretty important, and this is still a little bit unclear in the law, is do you use accrual or cash? Um, the uh, interim regulations that the SBA uh, came out with uh, this past week basically say that you use the accounting method that you use. And so that can be a little bit confusing. I think what they're going to do, but I'm not 100% sure because, again, there's no guidance on this, is they're going to say whatever you use on your tax return is the one that you're going to use in this report, okay, to show if you had a reduction of 25% or more. Okay, so in this case, we're going to assume accrual, you know, but you'll choose accrual or cash. All right. Now, we want to go down to this display columns by, hit the drop down, and we want to say quarters or quarter. All right. And then you want to click on previous year right here and percent change. All right. Okay, so this screen is done. You've got 1 1 2020 to 12 31 2020, your report basis, quarter, previous year, and percent change. All right. Once you do all that, you want to go over here to filters, and it will default to account. So we will leave it at account. And you want to hit this drop down box. All right. And you want to just go to all ordinary income accounts. Okay. So this should be all of your revenue accounts, your sales accounts. So we're going to hit, after we do this, you can go ahead and hit OK. All right, now you'll see here, you can collapse these. If it has this drop down arrow, you can collapse this and collapse this. All right, you want to make sure everything's in there that, that you're supposed to be reporting. And you'll see here that this report will say, OK, January to March, first quarter, 2023. Again, on your report, it's going to say 2020 compared to January to March 2022. All right. Now, 
you'll see here that it automatically has a percentage change. All right, so it, in the current uh, most recent one, it was 75,647. The year before quarter was 46,700, increase of 62%. All right, so you can look at these percent change columns and see if you had a reduction of 25%. All right, so then we've got the second quarter right here and the percent change, third quarter, percent change, and fourth quarter, percent change. All right, and then you'll see the totals down here for the entire year, and you'll see the percent change. Okay, so when you pull this report up in your QuickBooks file, uh, you'll be able to quickly tell if you had a reduction in any one of these quarters you know, for 2020 compared to 2019 of at least 25%. Now, every bank is going to differ in what they're going to require for proof that you had a reduction, okay? Some banks may take a report just like this straight out of QuickBooks, all right? You can print this, you can export it to a PDF, Excel, whatever you want to do. Uh, but some banks may take this, other banks may require some additional documentation. But if this is coming from your accounting records, this should be the bulk of what you need. Okay? All right. Any questions, any comments, feel free to leave those below. Also, visit me over at the QuickBooks University. That's qbuniversity.org. And I will talk to you soon.